Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I will be showing the open weight part between Ruslin and Curtis Blades. I hope you guys will like it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Razor. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your Position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighters. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Outstanding. 
standing ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pitting bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Versus position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Came down there. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Just over three minutes to go. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Lee gets back up. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. A single collar tie there. Left hand punch. Kick there, blocked by Blades. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, nice high kick. Knee to the body. Oh, nice. Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. And there's another one for good measure. Oh, the difference in the strike. Two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we've seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single down to a high crotch. Oh, he takes it from the height. What a fantastic takedown. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right... Oh! position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of his position off the bottom. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Huge block there. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big head kick. Oh, 
Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Annick is a encyclopedia of knowledge. And he went all the way back. But those knees will definitely take us back the longer this fight goes. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And they separate. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Blades gets back up. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shoot. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, you gotta think he's gonna... Whoa! He needs to start... He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Oh, misses with the jab. He blocks the punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They sub so Oh, sir! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. Feels like he's winning here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs. Whoa! Of it's over now. Oh! Woo! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man. Crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done. Here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, 
has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists, and at times you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big, he's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis. Racer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. to the ground. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, how 
fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Blade gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Continues to mix it up, going with the head, mixing in some body shots. Good night if that landed. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top score? Blades gets up. He is back on the feet here. Jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Blades gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over. He secured his take. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Ground and pound strike there now. Blades, his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. flat on his back, he couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Nice work by the man here again. 
against the fence, continuing to stay busy and continuing to land. Continuing to land, continuing to impose his will on his opponent. That one blocked by Blades. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Blades' his lower jaw is extremely swollen now. seeing why. Oh, what a punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lou. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh! He's, He's hurt bad. Big knee. Big oh, and the man. ankle kick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. And really starting to make these shots count. come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Lance with the ground and pound. He gets right back up. I mean, what an angle. Another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chin. How about that chin? Just unable to quite find that range. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks up. Well, it's one thing to have length, but it's another thing to throw. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, 
Roos, the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.